What's up friends? I am John with the Go Help Yourself channel and today I'm going to be talking about part two of overcoming depression with the spinal cord injury. And uh, like I said in the first part, this uh, doesn't necessarily have to uh, pertain to someone with a spinal cord injury. It could be anyone that de with depression. And these are the ways that I did it myself. And uh, I only experienced a very small amount of depression. You know, I have my bad days like everybody does, but um, it's, it's drastically decreased since I've uh, been doing these things. So for part two, I'm going to be talking about healthy eating or healthy diet and exercise. Now, I'm not gonna get too scientific with you guys, but I wanted to mention some things that uh, correlate with depression and some studies and stuff like that so you can get an idea of why these things work. So we'll do the first one, which is healthy eating. Now, um, it took me a while to really uh, quit all the bad foods. You know, at, at night I would like binge on snacks and sugar and stuff like that. And uh, I don't eat any sugar now, any processed sugar that is. Of course I get, you know, uh, fruits from sugar, which are actually good for you. Um, but uh, I have my notes here, if you're wondering if I look down, but um, with a healthy diet, um, there's been studies done where it's shown uh, if you you know obtain a healthy diet or healthy eating there's a 30% reduction in depression and 40% improvement in thinking and uh, I could see this you know I could see this uh, definitely happening with me going over to healthy eating and um, specifically they are talking about a Mediterranean like diet which uh, includes like fish fruits, veggies, like nuts, berries, and whole oats. And that's pretty much um, what I eat. It's very similar, my diet. And you wanna stay away from processed foods, uh, like processed sugar, um, deli meats, like cold cuts, cereals, chips, cookies, crackers, um, white flour, like you know, white bread or anything like that, because the stuff is really bad for you. It causes chronic inflammation in the body and again chronic inflammation is linked to depression so uh, i would say in a supermarket uh, realistically like 85 to 90 percent of the food there is just garbage and then a majority of that is literally poison so uh, anything you know i've heard someone say anything that comes in a bag or a box that's sealed you avoid which is pretty true so uh, luckily i have a co-op nearby and it's all local farmed um, fruits and vegetables, uh, most of it. And then, you know, you get the free range eggs and free range chicken. And that's what you want to uh, really uh, stick to. You want to stick to uh, foods that, you know, are the closest to their original state, um, AKA Whole Foods. So if you can find a place like that, uh, like Whole Foods, you know, the chain Whole Foods, or which of course that you have to be a little bit careful too, but you just wanna eat really clean, really basic diet. And uh, it's like drastically reduced my depression. I have a lot of energy, I feel great. Um, I have stamina, I can sleep, which is gonna be another part in a different video. Sleep is super important as well. But yeah, so you definitely wanna eat healthy and uh, get real with your diet if you wanna uh, reduce your depression so now something that uh, directly relates to eating is intermittent fasting and intermittent fasting is when you know you know like a take a day off from eating or you make your eating window smaller but what I usually do is some days I'll usually do it on a Sunday and I will um, I won't eat for 18 to 24 hours and intermittent fasting has also been shown to reduce depression and there is something called BDNF, which is brain-derived neurotropic factor. And what BDNF is, um, is it supports the survival of neurons and brain cells. And uh, it also helps with neurogenesis, which is the creation of new neurons in, uh, from stem cells in the brain. And it's basically um, brain-derived neurotropic factor is basically set in the brain and the central nervous system. It's also found like in the kidneys, blood plasma and uh, saliva, but it's mostly, it does most of its work in the brain and the CNS. And 
uh, having low B BDNF, it correlates with depression. So you want to get your BDNF up and, you know, having a healthy diet does that. Um, also, intermittent, intermittent fasting does that. And when you uh, intermittent fast, it increases ketones, which promotes BD, BDNF. So that's a little bit of scientific stuff for you. Oh, but also, um, BDNF increases serotonin, which, of course, if you know, uh, serotonin uh, is what's secreted that makes us happy. And I don't know if you did know this, a lot of people don't, but serotonin is actually created in the gut. So that makes perfect sense to have a good diet and um, increase serotonin that way. But um, so yeah, stick with the healthy diet. It's extremely important. It's something that I've really noticed that, if, that has helped my depression. And uh, I don't, I mean, I can say right now that I'm not even depressed anymore. Um, uh, I can truly say that and it's really amazing when you get out of it because it makes such a negative impact on your life. So we'll go to the second part of the video which is exercise. Now um, I've been doing exercise regularly, uh, religiously and this is another thing that uh, increases BDNF and uh, even you know walking, um, jogging, uh, all this stuff can really drastically reduce depression. Now, if you think about it, when you're depressed, you don't want to move at all. And I think this is why it plays such a big factor in a spinal cord injury, because when you get injured, you can't move. So that just relates to it. So if you can't move, you get more depressed. And uh, I mean, that's one reason I got in a manual chair, because, you know, you're moving more, you're pushing more, you're exerting more energy, um, as opposed to a power chair when you're just using a joystick. But... I definitely recommend that, getting in a manual chair if you can. I mean, I didn't think I could in the beginning, but I pushed myself and uh, you know, I did, I did it. Um, you can also get uh, power assistive devices, which I have, but that is an exercise in itself, pushing the chair. But uh, specifically, um, I, I've got a couple videos where I show uh, how I do it, but I modified a Bowflex and I do exercise four days a week and then in the summer, I actually go on the trail pretty much every day. And if you can get out there and exert energy, even for 10 to 15 minutes a day, it is extremely important in helping decrease depression. And exercise also uh, improves BD, B, BDNF. I think this is something that's extremely important that uh, a lot of people don't know about. So uh, the, the brain derived neurotropic factor. Now I want to mention two channels on uh, YouTube that really go into depth about exercise, healthy eating, and mental health. And uh, these can really help you kind of get an idea of what to do and why to do this. Um, so the first channel is Dr. Eric Berg and he's got uh, a little over 10 million subscribers which is pretty amazing. So he's obviously doing something right and his information uh, definitely must be on point. And then there's a uh, another channel, Dr. Tracy Marks, and she's got a little over a million and she's a mental health expert. So I'll put both of the channels in the description below and I highly recommend going to check them out if you have any further questions uh, that are in depth. So those are the two uh, things that I wanted to talk about in the video. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to comment below and you can ask me more of specifically what I do uh, pertaining to exercise or healthy eating. And uh, this is something that's not easy. You really got to discipline yourself and you got to make it a, um, you just got to push through. I mean, you really have to want it uh, to, to get better and discipline yourself, stay consistent. And even if you start with 10 to 15 minutes a day, it can really help along with a healthy diet. If you can cut one thing bad out of your diet, a little bit out of a time, that will really help. Thank you for watching. If you're new, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm working on um, providing better information and really articulating my thoughts to you guys. And uh, I appreciate all who have subscribed and all who have donated to the channel. It's really helping the channel out and uh, it's looking great. I really enjoy doing this. So as always, stay strong, stay active, stay creative and go help yourself, friends, over and out.